der Wasserentwicklung Anna Klaus Hase, in der Mutter äh, der Fanaris Lernmühe für Berlin, Zabekan, war ein äh, oder es für Jamia der Horia für Berlin, äh, der Fanaris äh, From the beginning of my studies, of uh, Islamic um, studies, um, I have been concentrating on uh, Syrian cultural history, um, on the art and architecture, and also the archaeology of the medieval periods in Syria. I had been to Syria in 1973, visiting my uh, co-student and friend Heinz Gaube, who was at the uh, Deutsches Orient Institute in Beirut at that time, and prepared a most um, wonderful survey in the region of Hanasa. Uh, but at that period, in 1974, uh, this was like a wonder. You came from civilized uh, Halab and uh, Sham, um, a few kilometers to the east, into a region where you would not find any foreigner, any person um, traveling through the asphalt road. Uh, stopped uh, several kilometers before um, Hanasa, and uh, this was fascinating to see the Arab population in the villages around who loved the antiquities around. There was one half column and they would admire it and say here we are in the real Syrian uh, traditional society and uh, culture, uh, cultural region. They lived with the antiquities, and uh, that uh, for 20 years I um, worked in the archaeology um, of the Islamic period, um, uh, first in Raqqa uh, with Michael Meinecke, my dear friend, uh, Rahim Mahullah, um, who um, was uh, continuing the Syrian excavations in Raqqa and um, was very successful in establishing the architectural forms of uh, early Abbasid palaces in that region, which was quite a difficult work uh, because the palaces are of the most simple fabric, uh, mud bricks and uh, plaster walls and some very strange uh, ornaments um, relating these palaces of the uh, famous caliph Harun al-Rashid to uh, the later great finds of stucco work in uh, Samarra. From after Raqqa uh, I got an excavation of my own which I continued for 10 uh, seasons until 2001 um, in Madinat al-Far uh, which we think uh, is uh, the Hessen Maslama one of the uh, castles of the Umayyad uh, founders of the uh, Caliphate, the Umayyad Caliphate, uh, on the road to Anatolia. We thought, of course, we would find uh, lots of um, booty from Byzance and Anatolia in uh, Madina del Faf, but uh, it was more exciting to find the first um, structures of uh, urban uh, foundations in the Umayyad period, uh, one of these places which were founded in the Islamic period to uh, raise the countryside to a new life, which in the end, at the end of the Byzantine period had been uh, a little uh, devastated, a little bit lost. Then to visit East Berlin, um, the Museum of Islamic Art in East Berlin, where, of course, uh, the great uh, event of early Islamic art was housed, the facade of the Umayyad Palace uh, of uh, um, Chapter from Jordan. This uh, is one of the marvels uh, of Islamic art and preserved um, in a museum uh, well, during the uh, seasons, the archaeological seasons, um, uh, with the time we had established a traditional uh, mud brick um, 
houses in the beehive uh, shape um, with uh, half domes and um, uh, real uh, very well temper, uh, tempered uh, air. Um, later it was uh, a bit difficult to repair them. Uh, we did not come every year, it was usually uh, every second year as the excavations were privately financed and uh, so we didn't have enough money to um, uh, repair the buildings uh, properly so at the end we had to introduce uh, concrete uh, buildings as well also for saving material inside and I uh, have a vivid memory of uh, after war Germany uh, since uh, 48 when I was four years old and uh, remember the destroyed streets in Hamburg uh, and their grey uh, colours. Um, this uh, shades of grey is quite a different impression from what we have now in the modern ways of destruction and um, uh, the closeness of the destruction in uh, some of the cities is um, really uh, uh, the worst uh, impression one can have of uh, human life. This is our German experience that uh, for my generation we have the experience how long it takes to overcome uh, effects of uh, devastation and hum humiliation. Um, I had the opportunity to visit Syria several other times and uh, even uh, lately, uh, the uh, general director of uh, antiquities and museums in Damascus invited us um, former directors of excavations to take part in the reopening of parts of the National Museum in Damascus in 2018 and in uh, autumn 2019 even to the reopening uh, of the museum in Aleppo. The uh, visits uh, to Syria uh, before the uh, war, were, uh, before 2011, were um, continuously very uh, uh, effective, very positive. It uh, was my, um, I would say, my acquaintance with the many parts in Syria, with many uh, parts of the population, uh, with the workers in the countryside, with the academic colleagues in the museums and the universities, uh, which made me feel very much at home in Syria. And um, it was very strange to meet this, uh, uh, this great range of uh, ideas and um, uh, uh, traditions, training among the uh, really multicultural population of Syria. Uh, which is uh, unusual and unique uh, in the Arab world. I would say that uh, this uh, is our greatest hope that uh, the uh, so-called multicultural composition uh, of life in Syria will continue and will, will be possible to uh, maintain.